Hi, and welcome to Morning Coffee with the Passionate Homeschooler. I'm Deanna, and today I want to talk to you about a book that's a little bit outside of my wheelhouse. Now, for my entire life, I've pretty much been reading classic literature. But I had a good friend lend me a book and she had told me about it and said that I really need to read this and I'm so glad that she did. So this book won the 2002 Newbery Award and it was written by Linda Sue Park. It's called A Single Shard. It's set in 12th century Korea and it's about this little village that is known for this amazing green slip pottery. And what was so remarkable was first the characters. Um, the author just really did a great job of describing the characters and the setting and it focuses on a young orphan named Tree Ear and he lives under a bridge with a man named Crane Man and Crane Man was also an orphan and orphans typically would be brought to the local temple to be cared for but for some reason that didn't happen with Crane Man and he ended up living under a bridge. So he grows up in this sort of little more wild um, unorthodox setting of living under this bridge and he scavenges and forages for his meals and he comes to take care of Tree Ear. Now Tree Ear grows up and he's a young boy, probably about 10 or 11 years old, and he's fascinated by the local potters. The story opens with him talking about going and watching them, and one in particular he really enjoys watching, especially when he is throwing the pots on the wheel that his exactness and his striving for excellence and making this perfect pot. Now, this idea of striving for excellence is one of the themes in this book. And how the author um, explores it is by showing both the benefits and the sort of setbacks that always wanting to be perfect can cause someone. And it's a great lesson to learn in that you should strive for excellence, but you also need to do it within the, your own capacity or without sort of, um, I guess, throwing the baby out with the bathwater. So if it's not perfect, always just destroying what you've created, right? And so um, there's this idea of excellence, but the Potter men, we do see that it does also hinder him in some situations. Now, another theme that comes out is this idea of hard work and perseverance. And we see this so many times in classic literature. This is a universal theme. And what's so great about this book is that we are it's set in 12th century Korea. And so this is a time and a place that is very different from our own. And kids, when they read this, they can learn that these ideas of hard work and goal setting and perseverance are things that have existed across space and time and are very relevant just as much in their own life as they always have been. Now, this book is just a beautiful story also about the importance of tradition and family. And that also comes into play when Tree Ear meets the Potter men and um, really wants to be taken under his wing. But because of these familial relationships and the traditions that exist in this village, um, particularly with the potters in this village, that also becomes a conflict. And so as the story unfolds, you see Tree Ear really striving to be a great person and looking up to men as a mentor. Now, Min's wife, Ajima, also has a big role in the story. And again, you see this sort of mother uh, relationship with Tree Ear. And she has some really interesting things that she does. And I don't want to give too much away, but you see how kind hearted she is. And you see that um, there's a tragedy that's happened. And her and her husband 
completely deal with it in a different way. And you can see um, this is really almost a way of looking at the differences perhaps of men and women and how they deal with things just in the world on their own. And so I definitely recommend having your kids read this book. Now, my friend, when she read it with her family, she's got a daughter going into second grade and a son um, who's a little bit older, and she read it aloud to them. And by the end, she said that, you know, her and her daughter were crying, and I was crying when I read that. So that just be warned that it does get a little bit emotional, but it is an absolutely beautiful story that has these timeless themes and um, I definitely recommend having your kids read it or read it aloud as a family and talk about these things, the idea of hard work, the idea of traditions and familial relationships. And is it always um, so strict that it has to be blood relationships or can that even be expanded out? Can you have a family tie with someone who isn't necessarily related to you? And what does that look like and how does that happen? And so it's, um, I definitely recommend this. I also recommend that you subscribe to our channel and like this video. And if you know some other homeschooling families or just families with kids who might like some of these ideas of books to read and other activities that you can do as a family, make sure that you let them know about our channel. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.